In this video, I'm going to show you how to package up your Pygame files into an executable that you can then distribute. The tool that we're going to use for this is PyInstaller. So the first thing to do is bring up your command prompt. Now the way I like to do it is click in here, type cmd and hit enter, and it will bring up the command prompt, but importantly, it opens it already in the folder that you are currently in. So it just makes things a little bit easier. Now the first thing to do is type out pip install Py installer. Now for me, it says requirement already satisfied because I already have it installed, but for you, it might just take a couple of minutes to install this package. You may at this point run into an error that says pip is not recognized as an internal or external command. This is a common error, and I'm just going to put a link in the description that explains how to solve it. It's, it's quite straightforward to fix. So once you've got Py installer ready, the next thing to do is make sure that you are within the folder that your script is located. So in my case, the platformer.py is the file that I want to package up and I am in the correct folder. So C forward slash platformer. So then you just type py installer and then the name of the Python file, which in my case is platformer.py. Now after this, there are a couple of, well, there are many different options and settings which can be added in as flags. So for now, the only one I want to add is dash dash one file. Now hit enter and it's going to start creating the executable for you. Now this one file flag, it essentially does exactly what it suggests. It creates the executable as one individual file. So it makes it easier for you to then distribute. So we just give that a minute to run through. Now you'll notice that it's already created a couple of different things. There's a new folder called build, a folder called dist, and then a file down here, platformer.spec. Now you actually don't need a lot of this. The only thing that you're going to need is the file that gets created in the dist folder. So I can see now this is finished. So if I go into the dist folder, there's my platformer.exe. So let's run it and see what happens. So you see it comes up, but then it closes down straight away. So obviously there's some kind of problem there, but it doesn't give me any kind of error messages. So it's very difficult to debug. So this is where another useful flag comes into PyInstaller. So if I type it out again, pi installer, let's just go back up to the correct folder. So it's pi installer, the name of the file, which is platformer.py, then the first flag, which was one file. And then the second flag is going to be dash dash windowed. So if we run this again, now because all of the files already exist, it actually doesn't take very long. So that's it finished now. If I go into the dist folder again, I can run this file. And this time it will come up as a window and actually stays. So now you can see what the error is. So here it's saying that it's failed to execute the script because this file that is trying to load, which is in the folder IMG, it's not here. It can't find it within this location. Well, that makes sense. That's correct. So if I bring up the code of this game, one of the first things it does is it tries to load up this image here and it's looking for it in the folder IMG. That folder is not here. It's not within this dist folder. It's actually within the root folder. So there's the IMG folder and that contains the sun and all the other assets for this game. So what I actually need to do here is take this executable, copy it and move it into the root folder. So basically it needs to be sitting next to the Python file. If I run this up again, it should start successfully and that's it. Now the game is fully loaded and working. And that's essentially it. So now if you want to distribute this, you don't need all of these files. You just need the executable and all the assets that the game uses. So you take this, all of the level data and the assets that are within the image folder and just say, add it to an archive. And there you go. That's all that you would need to then send out. So the stuff that's within build and dist, none of that is needed for this. So if you found this useful, then please leave a like and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.